have one simple question. Why is everybody in the mainstream media so afraid of any sort of alternate takes on what happened on January the 6th? So now there's news today that a couple of Fox News contributors, one of which is Jonah Goldberg, have actually left the network out of protest, quote unquote, for um, the Tucker Carlson Patriot Purge documentary, which is the one documentary, it is the one form of journalism that is out there that attempts to take another view of what happened in Washington, D.C. on January 6th besides the mainstream media narrative. We all know the mainstream media narrative. This is the narrative that has been pushed to us all year, and we're now starting to see that a lot of it was lies. Brian Sicknick, police officer Brian Sicknick, was not um, bludgeoned to death with fire extinguishers at the Capitol. We, are now, we now know that that's not true. And there's still a lot of questions about exactly what happened. And as somebody that is an American citizen, as somebody that engages in critical thinking, as somebody that wants to be allowed to ask questions while we still can, I would like to know every view and every take on what happened um, in Washington, D.C. on January 6th. But instead, what we're seeing and what we're hearing from mainstream media figures and even some of the conservative movement is that we should not even ask these questions, is that documentaries like Patriot Purge or anybody that has any sort of alternate take on what happened on January 6th should not even be allowed to speak. No, no, no. You should not even be allowed to ask the question. So now ask me if this sounds like a free and fair and open society and media ecosystem, or whether this sounds like an authoritarian regime trying to clamp down any sort of question on exactly what happened in D.C. To me, it sounds like the latter. Now, I don't care where your politics lie. I don't care if you're left, right, center, or anything in between. But at this point, we have to stop letting political narratives and we have to stop um, letting where we fall on the political spectrum sort of dictate how we um, think about every single event. Now, I know that there's a way that you're supposed to feel about January 6th if you're a conservative, and there's a way that you're supposed to feel about January 6th if you're a liberal. But what about all of the people that are in between the two extremes that really just want to hear any sort of take on January 6th, that really just want to hear whatever the alternate takes are. And the reason why the mainstream media and those on the left are so absolutely enraged by any sort of alternate take on what happened on January 6th is because they want complete ownership of the narrative. Tucker Carlson is aware of this. He is aware that the winners generally uh, are the ones that write history. He is very keenly aware of the fact that the left wants to own this story so that they can define the narrative. And so that is a narrative that they can push out for further generations um, that are interested in what happened on January 6th. For me, I want to know all sides of the truth. And anybody that is against um, Tucker Carlson's documentary, anybody that is against any sort of alternate take on what's going on in Jan what happened on January 6th is not at all interested in the truth. They are interested in controlling the narrative.